I'm Samuel Mukupa. I'm coming from Zambia, working in Western Province of Zambia as a Provincial Nutrition Support Coordinator under the National Food and Nutrition Commission in Zambia. My name is Meib Mangala. I'm from Zambia and uh, I'm based in a place called Barose, officially called uh, Western Province of Zambia. My name is Tabagu Mungas and I came from Ethiopia. I am working as associate researcher at Ethiopian Public Health Institute in the Department of Food Science and Nutrition. My name is Wen Hopso. I'm working in the Center for Agricultural Research and Ecological Studies in Hanoi, Vietnam. My name is Francis Odiambo Odwar. I work for Biovasti, having joined Biovasti in 2014. Bonjour, bienvenue, the most interested one was on policy issues. Governments should play a very pivotal role. We need proper policies to regulate land use and how to grow crops, diversification of crops. So that we, as people have been saying, we have only one earth which we depend on. So we have nowhere else we can go. So we have to preserve, we have to use the natural resources in a sustainable way. Sustainable agriculture, sustainable development. So that we enjoy benefits of the land, at the same time preserving it for the future generation. And then they were asking a question as in, what's there for all small scale holder farmers? how they're going to assist small-scale farmers in coming up with the sustainable farming methods with the little resources that they have, looking at uh, other projects that come with uh, huge monies and then because of the, the complexity of the system, finally by the time it reaches the farmer, only 10% of their money will, will be there and so they're trying to find ways and how they can empower farmers. When I come to this forum, you will only understand what the landscape means how you designed a landscape sensitive nutrition intervention for developing countries especially to see the nutrition perspective from the landscape dimension too. The most uh, memorable one is a research about the coffee in Central Highland of Vietnam. Some information about the coffee landscape in Vietnam quite a bit new for me. From that session I would say that we cannot talk about nutrition when we don't talk about the other sectors. We have to look at the policy, we have to look at business, we have to look at the environment and in that way uh, we can achieve nutrition and by extension the development goals. Au revoir. So once, my, once I go back to Zambia, we we'll always meet every month. So it was going to be a very good opportunity for me to share the experiences I've learned here. Come up with a very good report, which I will, I'm going to share with stakeholders. It's at a very high level, a very, very senior government official in the province. And I also write the report to my superiors in Lusaka at national level. I'm going to disseminate and share what I've learned here in my province. You find that you go in the communities to do these activities, you end up crashing with others again who are doing similar to what you do maybe. So it's important that uh, all of us come together from all these different sectors and then agree on what we'll be doing so that each partner or organization or a government organization or a government ministry knows what is happening in one area and by who. And then that for, for us, the, these groups are already there. Communication is important. So the people who are like on the organizing or running these groups. In terms of my country context, because you know, previously the nutrition sector and it were managed by the health ministry of health only. Later on we conducted a formative assessment among the different stakeholders in Ethiopia and we realized that agriculture, Ministry of Health, uh, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Education, Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Water, they don't have any clear understanding what a nutrition means. You know, nutrition were considered a thing uh, as a food you eat, that's all. But that, you know, formative research gave us an input 
to integrate those sectors. Now they have their own share in the national nutrition program. So they are contributing, you know, to attain the objective what is stated in the national nutrition program. So we have now a platform of multi-sectoral linkage consisting of different ministers. It's about 11 ministers now. And the next step will be the way how to act on that platform. In my opinion, the best way to engage stakeholders is through um, the, the government policy. One of my ideas is to connect NGOs that they have the same vision or the same resource. They have the same purpose for one resource they can see together to connect just one part of their research together to make a bigger one. In Kenya, uh, for me the challenge is how to make people work on those targets. Uh, I use what uh, one of the interventions that were talked about in the meeting was if you want sustainable environment that you would want to focus on in making the unsustainable ways of feeding or nutrition more expensive, for example, by increasing taxation. For me, <laughs> that would not uh, really work in Kenya because in Kenya, policies are made by politicians and politicians basically depend on the number of supporters they have and you increase the taxes it doesn't really work so for me i would want to just try to engage uh, the actors in all the sectors to realize that nutrition is important uh, although it has been a challenge increased awareness i believe this can be worked on and we can see a change even when you can look at the diversity when i check on my my data i see like for example vihiga is very rich in agricultural diversity but we don't still use them we have more than 100 edible species but then and people are eating only three. Quite a number of becoming extinct. It's all about awareness creation, not just at the lowest level, but we should start from the policymakers.